Victories against Aston Villa and Tranmere saw Salford City come through the group stage. The Linson.com trophy with two wins out of two. Played one game fewer than everyone else, having been drawn in the same group as Berry. Wolves are the visitors tonight. They qualify from their group with one win, one draw and one defeat. And it's their third season competing in this competition. The Wolves senior side won this cup back in 1987 and it was known as the Shep Reven Trophy. They work the corner kick towards the edge of the six-yard box and Wolves just about play the ball away from danger. And now they come forwards on the attack. Worked out wide to Jordan Graham. And the experienced heads in this Wolves side. He gets the cross in. Oh, and a real opportunity here. Campbell goes down. Just as he went to pull the trigger, Chen Campbell, the 16-year-old. And Salford come forward on the attack down the left-hand side. It's a good ball play three for Armstrong. And Luke Armstrong wins a free kick. There's that opportunity again. Chem Campbell he became the second youngest player to start for Wolves against Aston Villa in the EFL Cup earlier this season. Best chance of the game for Wolves so far. Wolves win a free kick midway inside the Salford half. Probably just about out of shooting range. Can have a go. And it's gathered by Kyle Leatherin. Elliot Watts free kick and the goalkeeper who's making his first appearance since October after injury. Shows he's well over that with the save. Hungarian so plays the ball back into defence. Step over. As the ball is worked out wide to Jordan Graham. Good ball played in. Goalkeeper flaps at it a little bit. They keep it going with Dion Sanderson on the far side. He overcooks the cross though. And that will go out harmlessly for a throw. Richie Tao, they're backing off him. And the former Brighton and Rotherham man shoots. Jervis hangs the cross in towards the far post. It's retrieved on the edge of the penalty area. Bit of an aerial bombardment from. Salford City, right at the end of the first period. Pierre Gianni now, he works the ball out wide. The cross is played in, and it's off the line, but Armstrong follows it up. And two minutes before the break, Luke Armstrong. With Salford City the lead. Only his second goal since joining from Middlesbrough. As Jervis was kept out by Sondergaard. Armstrong was there to finish. Let's try and work the ball through for Graham. Instead, though, it's Salford. They get it back with Armstrong. And now he continues his run towards the penalty box. The cross is played in, and he arrives at the far post. And just as he did at the end of the first half, Armstrong scores at the start of the second. This time Jervis the provider. And Salford City in their first ever season in this competition. Look as though they're going to be heading towards the third round now. Really good ball played in. Leads everyone. Apart from Armstrong, it's 2-0. Wolves made it into the second round after a bonus point penalty shootout win against Carlisle. Trouble tonight, though, as Ed France is the captain. Former Manchester City youngster plays it forward. It's Salford to come forward there with the experience. Pierre Gianni, good ball. Danny Lloyd now up to his right foot. High and wide from him. Don't drop, don't drop, don't drop. 
Kennedy replaced Jeff Edwards as the Wolves development manager back in October, still in temporary charge. The former Manchester City and Liverpool player as well as Wolves, of course, is really coming forward again. Good run from him, plays it back towards the penalty spot to seal it. The effort is charged down. Only over the bar, I think that one. And over the stand as well. Another decent opportunity though for Salford City. As Brandon Thomas Sassante saw his first effort blocked by the defender. Throw in from Sanderson, 19 year old. He's part of the Asia Trophy final against Manchester City in the summer and played against Villa in the EFL Cup. Well worked out wide now for Wolves. And they get a route back into this game. Good looking cross. Nobody there for it though, apart from Sanderson. Finished the move that he started. It's into the side netting though. It's a wake up call for Graham Alexander's side. Rowan picked up in defence calmly, dealt with by Jones. So they made their first ever appearance at Wembley last season in the National League playoff final. They won it, of course, and got promoted. Another step closer to Wembley tonight as they look to seal the victory. Drilled across on the edge of the box and just needed a touch. Toure couldn't provide it though. Salford didn't play at the weekend, but they were held nil-nil here by Macclesfield Town last time up ten days ago. Wolves drew one all with Athletic Bill Bow at St George's Park last week. And now a shot comes in. This time it was Thomas Asante with the strike. And a number of players looking to show their manager this evening they can be a more regular part of the first team squad in the league. Mary Jones plays the ball back into defence. Gianni, one of the two players left from Salford City's rise through the leagues. The pass is played in field. Towel works it out wide, makes his way into the penalty area. Cross is cut out for a corner. And played in towards the six-yard box. It's headed goalwards. And turned in by Towel. It's 3 0. With three minutes remaining, victory is sealed for Salford City now. It's Richie Towel's third of the season. And it's been a pretty comprehensive evening for the Amis. Clearance fell perfectly. First time volley. Wonderful technique. winless in their last three matches so this will be a much welcome victory Graham Alexander's side back to league action at the weekend and they had a fourth goal hit little drop of the shoulder and the effort goes high over the bar Andreas Undergaard with the goal kick. Salford City then are through to the next round of the competition and a welcome cash boost in prize money too. They're back to winning ways and they did so pretty comfortably. Luke Armstrong with a double and a classy effort from Richie Town at the end. Makes it Salford City three, Wolves nil.